I will first throw it at Paige, who I've now interviewed like four times, and Mitch, and say, how are you, and what was your highlight so far of being part of the Rock the Block team? Oh, well, we're great. We're, yeah. we're alive. We made it through the block. Awesome. You know, we're, we're still standing. Yeah, grateful to be there again, too, really. Yeah, I think the highlight was, oh, there are a lot of highlights. This season is insane. I mean, the Ty really pushed us, you know, <laughs> our creative levels. You know, this guy and the other guy down there, you know, the cute ginger down there, they had to <laughs> jump off these pirate ships. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lot going on on the block this year that that challenged us that we got through. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, just to be in the presence of all the other amazing competitors that were there, I, you know, yeah, truly honored to be there with with everyone that was involved. True. Uh, same unoriginal questions for you, Lindsay and Leslie. Highlight for you so far in Rock the Block, because let's face it, this is not the only amazing, awesome thing that both of you have done. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we're doing great. Uh, staying busy in life with uh, kids and work. And I think for us, the highlight um, is always, I think, getting to know new people and making new, uh, really deep relationships in this industry. You know, we went into this season um, being maybe overly obsessed with Keith and Evan. Uh, I can speak for myself. <laughs> Um, but now having the Baumlers and Mitch and Paige, you know, that are dear friends of ours and are just so creative and um, incredible, you know, people in the industry. That was incredible. Um, you know, Ty still, I was going to say Ty's still hanging around, unfortunately. Yes. I think he's on the edge <laughs> of retirement. So that'll be a really <laughs> awesome one day. But um, I would say that's my highlight. Yeah, I always have a blast just with the people. and. I I genuinely like being around other creative people and people that are like leveling me up mm -hmm. and more creative and more like talented than I am or could pr probably ever be. Yeah, that's and true. So, that's I, true. Thanks, sister. Yeah. And so um, it just, <laughs> I, I actually really, really enjoy that. It pushes me and I like to be challenged like that. Got it. Now, Keith and Evan, is it the same Mutual Appreciation Society for you two remember we have your address we know where you <laughs> absolutely live absolutely it is not it was a nightmare from start to finish <laughs> <laughs> these people are divas <laughs> no, honesty no it was it was really fun it was one of those things where of course we saw leslie and Lindsay were coming back and that's really fun because we were with them on season three and then of course we we've, we've gotten to meet everybody actually i hadn't met sarah and brian but i think we'd gotten to meet just about everybody else and, you know, everybody brings such a level of creativity and knowledge to this thing that makes it for, you know, like, it just really is impressive. It's kind of humbling to stand mm -hmm. at this competition and be part of it and think, I, how the hell did I, I accidentally stumble my way into this. But yeah. it, it was a really great season for talent. Yeah. Positive stumbling. Before I ask Ty something original, I'll throw an unoriginal question at Brian and Sarah and say, Hey, any highlights for you in being part of Rock Block? I was just going to say I, that I For me, I think the highlight was getting through it. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Uh, Sarah, were uh, you about to I'll say the say, same thing? I'll say that. I was just going to say that I think after the first season, I think the first season was so stressful for me that I really didn't enjoy week to week. Like I was so stressed and you don't hear your name being called and you lose. So coming back the next season, I was trying to remind myself, like, you just got to have fun. Like, let's enjoy this. Let's push some boundaries. It's an opportunity to spend somebody else's money and just try something. So I think I, I came at this a little bit different this year. Just like, I got to just soak this all up, do what I want to do, have some fun and enjoy the process because otherwise the stress gets to you. So I think I that's how I approached it from the year before, for sure. Wow. Well, Ty, in honor and- And that, was, that wasn't my entire answer. <laughs> oh, please finish <laughs> and then- That wasn't my entire answer. Go, Brad, go. <laughs> yeah. So so I was saying, uh, you know, that the highlight was getting through it and, you know, after getting to tour everybody's space and kind of standing back and looking around and thinking like, holy shit, we've all just been through this. There's four incredible spaces here. 
Uh, we kind of, you know, everybody put their, their best on the table and, uh, and we're still standing. And it was, uh, that was kind of the, you know, looking around, like we, we all got through this and, and uh, we all did what, you know, million tens of millions of people would love to be in our position doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And millions of people will watch and, you know, everyone's going to have a different favorite design and favorite people and favorite moment of the show. Mm -hmm. But I think for us, it was just kind of looking around at each other when the, when the bell went off and it was like, okay, we're all, everybody's still here. We, we yeah, made it. Yeah. And uh, that good. was a good part for me. Glad to hear that. Now, Ty coming at you right here, putting yeah. you on the spot. I'm wondering if you have the statistic ready. When you hear people who are television industry veterans talk, they'll go, well, I've got a thousand hours of television. Do you know how many hours of television? Because I bet you're over 10,000 hours of television at this point. I've got some hours. I've got some weeks. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, we've we've got some houses in our belt. <laughs> but here, I wanted to say this, because you've asked everybody what their highlight show was. Sure. Uh-oh. All right. Well, here's mine. And here's the cool thing about mine is these guys don't even realize getting to the finish line, making these things incredible. They were so exhausted by the time the judging went, they had to go get like two hours of sleep somewhere. But I would sneak into their, their places and I got to be Goldilocks. I would, I would lay in the tub. I'd look at the view. I would like check out the king size bed. I would like lay on the, the, the living room. So I got to experience these spaces the way they didn't get to because I had the, the moment to be like, wow, look how amazing these things are. And uh, I sort of got to test drive them before anybody even walked in. So for me, like I experienced the fruits of their labor and it was a magical, it was amazing. So I was so excited when, you know, you find out like who's going to win or, or lose this particular thing because each one was a win. They were just all so different. But sure. for me, that was the highlight of me. Like somebody's going to actually live in this one day. And that's insane. These places are incredible, man. That's all I got to say. And the follow-up to that tie with the original. So you ate the porridge. That was me. That was me. It was cold, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, knew it. I knew it. The knew porridge it. endorsement's coming soon for you, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, Ty, the follow-up to that yes. is, when did you kind Working of realize it. that this was going to be a long-term thing with HGTV? Because if we watch HGTV and we don't see your face for 20 minutes, we worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we worry. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I uh, I'm just glad I'm still doing what I do. Like, look, like I've been in this game a long time. Let's let's face it. There were two shows on when I started. Now there's like 200. So the fact that I could still be working with the top tier uh, elite uh, on some of the, the most fun shows on the network, uh, it's I'm I'm humbled as well. So look, these guys are as good as they get. And when you get to host a show where the best are competing against the best, like everybody wants to be involved in that. So I appreciate just being being the guy who uh, just gets to say, hey, teams, here's what we're doing today. Hey, Ty. <laughs> and, and what happens when you and Jeff Probst are in the same room? We trade necklaces and say, like, who can stay on an island without uh, bug repellent the longest? That'll be the next challenge. Well, thank you all for speaking with me today. I hope there's more seasons of Rock Block to come. And it's wonderful to see that you are all not just talkers, but doers, creative people who make a difference. So thank you for that as well. Thank you, man. Thank you. Outrocast.